All right, hey everybody, Herf here. Welcome to another episode of our Conan Exiles uh, Savage Wild playthrough. So I came over here for other reasons, and uh, we walked right in. This is our uh, scout report lady, so we just come in usually from the top there where the where Wheel of Pain is outside. And uh, this guy is standing right here. So, I, I mean, I gotta knock him out, right? I happen to bring my things just in case, but... Uh, my things as in purple lotus orbs. <laughs> so let's knock uh, this joker out and we'll take him back. So um, I got good news and bad news. The bad news is I got our deer killed. The the little um, gazelle. Uh, yeah, the first time I brought him here, um, I forgot to set him to uh, passive. So he tried to attack the, the guard outside. And that didn't go well instantly. So we lost <laughs> we lost the gazelle already. Uh, didn't even get him in the city once. So, oh, you bastard. I wasted one. Um, I didn't expect one to work on him. It took like four to knock out uh, Leo the monster. And two to knock out the other guys. This guy would have gone down in one. I don't know if it's just... You know how I'm throwing them, or if these guys, uh, you know, some of them just take less. I, I don't really know. So, all right, we're gonna get this guy uh, on the wheel here, and uh, we're gonna head back in the city. Anyway, we are here to buy um, a fighter. I want to buy a fighter. I don't know where to get fighters, and we have a good amount of coin. And I was looking at the exchange rate in there, and it says, uh, I think. To buy a Relic Hunter, it was 1,700 bronze, I believe. And it said, like, one gold coin is four bronze coins, and we had, like, 900 gold coins. So we might have enough to buy, actually, a couple. Um, this guy should have insta-tamed. I don't know what I'm thinking. So I brought all of our... <laughs> I brought every coin we had. <laughs> so we'll see what we can afford. Um... I, let me give him to you. And that. So, yeah, I don't have any, you know, because we just started. I don't have uh, Ancient Obelisk. And I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me if... Uh, I know we can, you know, I'm still collecting the skulls. In fact, I got one here from that Defari camp. But I don't know if we can still trade these in anywhere, you know, and get the Ancient Obelisk. Uh, I noticed that... You know, there are still the, the slavers that will sell you things for Ancient Obelisk. But I don't know that we can still get uh, Ancient Obelisk, like I said. So I just want to take a look around in here for Thralls. And then we're going to go around uh, the next level down. Which I believe is where I can buy uh, the Thralls from the, uh, the slavers at the Big Wheel of Pain down there. But I just want to take a peek at these people, see if there are any more purple lotus orbs. And uh, so I'll bring you back. Um, oh, I also grabbed... Last time I was here, I grabbed that... that f Is this a dancer? Fighter? Oh, Carpenter 3. That that reminded me that I, I grabbed a Smelter 3. Um, just to have one on the wheel. So you guys aren't super good. So, all right. I'm going to just run around, check these thralls quick. I don't really expect to find any, and then I'll pick you back up at the slaver. So we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, we're here at the traders. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to go over is check out my outfit. So let's see if I can get in the sun. Where's the sun? So it's kind of... I kind of dyed it... Uh, kind of dyed it red and green. You know, it, it comes with this red sort of... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Ribbon thing, whatever this... Uh, thing that floats around in the wind is whatever you call that. Uh, that is um, that's red. That's its normal color. But I did a combination of um, sort of some dark red piping on the outfit and some of the green, right? To sort of heading into uh, the holiday theme here. We could change it up at some point. But I thought, yeah, that might be kind of cool for. It's a little shimmery, you know. It's not bad looking. It's kind of. Uh, this one's hard to, to die, I think, to have it show up, but... Anyway, uh, this lady seems to sell only Defari. You can walk out of here with a bargain, or a frown. Your choice. 
and I can get Defari guys at the camp near us. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, too, if anybody knows. I have seen uh, what I thought was a cannibal brute at that camp, but it ended up being a cannibal champion. And it had three heads, and uh, I've seen that twice now in that camp. Um, one female, one male, and they don't seem uh, knockoutable, so... I don't know what to do with that. I just killed him. I will give you a discount, my friend. <laughs> it's so loud. Uh, Relic Hunter Fighter. Now, do I know what these guys are? Like, are these tier fours? Am I just buying a random one? What am I buying? Well, only way to find out. Purchase successful and I am over encumbered. Okay. Let's get out of this. What did we buy? Where is he? We got... Oh, uh, Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker. I think that's good. I had one of those in... Uh, maybe one of my original... Uh, Exile Land playthroughs? Maybe? I think I called him Ritz. <laughs> like for the crackers, because he was R-H-T-S. Ritz. Uh, anyway... So, what else you got? A repeat customer, eh? Ooh, he's got another Relic Hunter fighter. Um. He restocked already? I didn't even turn around. How'd you get another one? You are tricky, sir. Oh, I think, yeah, we still have 900 coins, and according to this thing, one gold coin is four copper. So probably could buy two more. I don't think I need to buy two more, but let's buy one more. And uh, we'll see what these two guys are when we get back home. Shemite Fighter 2? What is that? Boo. Okay. I mean, I can get a million of those around here. Not worth it. So I don't know if it's random. Did I just get lucky on that first one? I don't know. You guys tell me. Blunted weapon fitting. Eh, I'll take it. Kind of want the advanced one, but. Uh, okay, that's it. I'm gonna run back to the house, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna put these guys out, see what we got, and uh, I don't believe maybe I'll run down and check the the garrison to see if there's any um, any tier fours hanging around. And uh, I'll pick you guys back up at camp. Oh. Look at this. Literally just ran down, downstairs, and there's two of them. How am I going to do that? Got a temper smith and a smelter. I, I just got a smelter three? I feel like the Temper Smith is going to be worth it. Uh, crap on a crap stick. Okay, let's um, let's knock him out. This building's been pretty good. This is I got the Smelter Three right here. Uh, it's been good just now recently. So let's um, let's knock you dudes out. Pretty good curveball there. Yeah, they're, they're going down at different rates. That's kind of funny. I care less about... I mean, I guess I could try to drag them both. I run the risk of losing them, though, I think. With all the weird, like, people going in the ground and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I kind of want the Temper Smith. Is she gonna? Is she gonna fade? She did. You're half down. You know what? I'm gonna leave you. Making the call. Herf's making the executive call. I feel like this lady's gonna be better for us on the blacksmith bench than uh, than just a smelter will be. So. 
All right, I'm going to drag her up to our Wheel of Pain through all of these switchbacks. And uh, all right, we'll pick you guys back up at base. Okay, so we are back here. I'm going to grab this Stygian Smelter 3. Which we had just knocked out prior to showing up there again. And we'll put her on this one. Uh, so she will make us bricks going forward. So, let's see. I went back and looked for Daya Lead Drinker, but she was she had already despawned, so... Um... Oh wait, I didn't get a smelter. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. So she is, I believe this, right? Steelsmith? Or Tempersmith, rather. Steel Fingers. All right. What can you make, old hearth? Nothing special. I, I, I have very little unlocked here. Um, all right, let's get... So do I have to... This guy should already be... Um, oh, that's right. We have the carpenter. Let's throw the carpenter in. like we got this crazy haircut theme going with these guys. I don't know if I like it. So uh, I, I wanted to say I am recording this right after um, I guess the Age of War Chapter 3 came out. So it is live at this point. Um, I don't exactly know what that means uh, here on Savage Wilds, but Place this guy. We're gonna go hunt relics. All right, relic hunter, treasure seeker. Seventeen hundred HP, not bad. Not too shabby. What do you got for a weapon? It's probably lousy. Kopesh. Sixteen damage. Well, you are formidable, sir. Not. Um. We might as well. Throw throw out this uh, Shemite Fighter 2. Uh, let's see. So I know one of the things they are... I've seen a couple of videos. I don't know much about uh, Age of War Chapter 3. Um, oh, he's... Are you injured, sir? Are you... Are you weak? Seem to be regaining health, whereas this guy was not injured. Um, and these guys look like they're watching a tennis match, all the dogs. Oh, they're not doing it exactly the same. They were when I started. All five of them were twi twitching their ears and looking left, looking right, as if they were watching like a tennis match. Too funny. Uh, so yeah, I don't know much about the Age of War. Um, chapter 3, that is, and... I did see that uh, you can rescue a barkeep, I guess, from the Purge. Um, and that will allow you to open up your own bar. And I don't really know what the point of that is. Do you attract thralls? I don't really know. We'll figure it out. So um, I historically have never done a Purge. I mean, I, I have done one. That's not true. I just... Um, it's like seven days to die for me in Horde Knight. You know, I just, I don't know. Some people enjoy the engineering and the mayhem of Horde Knight, and I just don't. I just want to play the game. But, uh, so we may end up uh, having to do that, get ourselves a barkeep at some point. That'll be uh, something down the line when we get this place armed with a few more thralls that can maybe defend us a bit. So, unlike what we currently have with a bunch of dogs. In this, uh, I kept one of these jaguars. They were all the same, uh, so it, I didn't felt like I didn't need to keep three of them. So yeah, I also am working in the background because uh, I wanted to go buy a thrall. So I've been working on uh, getting us some more thick leather. So this will get us up a little over 130. So I'm gonna have to go beat up some more gorillas, so I'm going to work on that so I can outfit this guy so that we can take this guy. I like um, Thor 
but Thor just, he doesn't hit very hard, he doesn't really help me at all. So we did pick up while we were there, uh, I did find a perfected steel mace uh, again, and I think we actually have, we have a spare in here too, right? Yeah, this is a regular one. So we got a perfected steel mace, I think one of my last trips I found a, a damage kit, I did. So we're going to apply this. Uh, we're going to let him use this. This is the best weapon we can we can give now. Uh, I don't want you to have this shield. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll take that shield. How about that? Uh, it's better than my crappy wooden shield. So we'll throw your Copassion there. And we'll swap this crappy shield. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to drop it because it's so crappy. Uh, let's put a couple of these things away. I found star metal uh, arrows in one of those chests this time through. Uh, we get a skull. So I get a few things I'm going to put away. Uh, and then I'm going to run up here, get some uh, thick hide, and uh, turn that into thick leather. And we will try to make an outfit for this guy, uh, heavy armor outfit, and we will pick you guys back up uh, in, in a bit. All right, guys, so we got up to 223 thick leather, so I'm gonna transfer 200 over here. We're gonna make uh, five of the heavy paddings, wherever they may be. Uh, yep, yeah. all right, let's do that. So those are gonna take a couple of minutes. Um, we did hit Maroon, while that was processing, just, you know, to see what I could see. We saw, as you can see in this chest, I forgot my purple potions. Uh, and we did see Ibarra something or other, right? She was, I, I think I've had her before. She was a T4 alchemist. I found one purple orb, but it wasn't enough to knock her out. So I wasn't able to take her home. So I was a little sad, but we don't even have alchemy stations yet at this point so but i found this weird uh this die pack i wonder what this actually is can i use it oh it's a bunch okay i don't have room to put that <laughs> i'd never seen that item before uh it literally said it had a bunch of die but uh i don't know why i didn't believe it but it did all right, I need to make uh, I need to make some chests specifically for that. So let's take uh, what do I got going on here? Do I, I don't have any. See, I'm so far behind. You know what I need to do? You come here. I put you over here by mistake. Uh, let me put you back. And you cook, cook some iron for me. Where's my cursor? There it is. Cook some iron. Give me this. I need to get some iron reinforcements flowing. Um, How many of these can I make? You know what? Let's just make... Make 60 for now. That's... That'll get us a few chests. Alright, anyway, how are we doing on the padding? Uh, we got the padding. All right, let's craft the armor. So the Reaver boots, right? This is what we want. The brawler hand wraps. Oh, I need iron. Okay, dead. Uh, we got like a ton of iron here. Just take 250. Throw it in here. Let's try actually crafting this. So we'll do the Reaver hat. We have enough leather in here. Okay, hat. Gloves. Buff coat. <laughs> Breeches and boots. the hat. And that's 
with the boots, right? Okay. All right, man. So I've given him a hundred gruel. And the piglet's already eaten one. Look at you. You look like a swashbuckler now. If only you had a cutlass. Um... So that gets him, what, 5? No, 601. See, his stats aren't bad, so let's look at him. I mean, they're not great, but they're not bad. He's um, He's got 75% chance in vitality. Place already got 15 grit, which is pretty good. Uh, so I decided to give him gruel since his strength is lacking. So I don't know how he ranks uh, in the terms of you know, thralls these days, because I know some of the damage numbers have changed, and some thralls are now output more damage, you know, even though they have lesser health. Like the 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 uh, the Defari, what's the the giant cannibal brute? That thing is supposed to be pretty tough nowadays. So let's um I need let me just get take I need to make one chest. So you know what? Let's take 30 of those. Let's make two. If we got, do we got 10 of these yet? Oh yeah. Wait, how many do I need? I need 30 of these. Uh, let's do 30. I, I took too much wood. So let's craft us a couple. Uh, storage. Yeah, we can make a couple of these. I'm just gonna throw it out in the middle of the room here for now. You know, throw it sideways. And I will rearrange this later on. But for now, I just want to get rid of all this dye. So I'm going to pare this stuff down. And uh, we're going to take out our uh, Relic Hunter for a little bit uh, of, a, of a tour. We'll see what he can do. Be right back. Oh, okay, do over. Nice. <laughs> I'll try to be better with this one. So I've got... Uh, Mr. Ritz with us here. I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna unleash him on this camp, and let's see what happens. Oh, that's one of those dudes. Oh, it's a cannibal champion. Oh. I'm gonna get him killed like immediately. better than Brutus. Not Brutus. Thor. Brutus might actually be better. Uh, I'll take the Sorcerer's Skull just in case we can still trade them in somewhere. And these guys we killed uh, already. Potion of Endowment. <laughs> uh, I can't play with nudity, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not going to bother to climb up there for that treasure. Okay, let's go... Uh, all right, I'm going to take him through. We're going to go beat up some gorillas. Uh, we'll be back here in a minute. All right, let's see how he does here. Oh, yes, he's actually doing damage. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Let's uh, skin him up. No. So this key, I have to explain this. Um, I went in, and I, I, I will do this uh, in a future episode, but... A couple of you guys had commented um, about the Zath religion, and there's... Um, I forget exactly where it is. I'm not going to be able to describe it correctly. but uh, So it's in Maroon. There's a, there's a, you walk in there, and there's a, a door with nobody in it. Uh, there's a room with nobody in it and a locked door, and the, and the locked door says you need a key. And um, one of you guys pointed out that I walked right past it, and another guy, another commenter uh, said, without giving too much away, the key is in that in that room somewhere. So I managed to find it. Uh, it's a little thing up on a shelf. And I guess it gives you that key. With that key, you can open the door. And you can go into that back room. And uh, yeah, I won't tell you what's in there. We'll do it at some point. But uh, you go into the back room and... Uh, 
Yeah, anyway, you end up... Um, no, no, I need that. No, I want that. So I have to explain this too. Because I thought I was recording this whole time, and I was not. So, um, meaning when I was uh, when I was in Maroon. So, I, I don't... I have so much fur, I'm just going to drop it. So, all right, we are going to keep... Uh, yeah, so anyway, we learned Zath. Um, we learned Set, we learned Zath. What else do we know? Uh, which one is... Is it Survivalist? Where's all the religions? Uh, is it just this one? Yeah, okay. So you can see we know... Uh, Mitra, I think we started off with... Um, so we've learned... Uh, yeah, we're an acolyte of set that you learn in the in the in the maroon where all the uh, right where we got Leo the monster um, at the very top there. There's a book you can learn where all the priests are walking around and praying. Uh, Zath also in the city, and uh, we got Durketto, uh when we were way out west, so we still have a couple to go. Um, anyway, let's we're gonna kill these. Uh, these gorillas here, and uh, I just want to level this guy up a little bit, and then maybe in the next episode we can uh, we can go out for for some adventure with uh, with our relic hunter here. Uh, like the cobra exile, my fight is death. Ooh, trash talks too. Set for glory in your death. That hurt doesn't have to do anything. See, this is uh, I'm paying these employees in gruel. They do my bidding. And also, carry my heavy things. Uh, don't need it, don't need it. Oh, oh, the gorilla coming. I will cut your heart out! Oh, actually, I think it's, it's me that's gonna cut the heart out. <laughs> All right. So, oh, I can run. All right, we're going to go drop this stuff off at home. And uh, I'm just going to take him out uh, on some runs around here. We're just going to kill some local stuff. I just want to try to level him up a few times. Um, he's leveled up once, but he did not go up in strength. He went up in... Oh, no, he leveled up a second time. I get oh, three points in strength. He, he started with zero. Uh, and he leveled up once and did not get a point. So how, how do you... How do we explain three points in strength? I don't know if I can. Uh, all right, anyway. He's getting up there. So uh, we're just going to continue this leveling up. I don't think I'll get him to ten or anything. That's going to take quite a while. But uh, I just want to get him you know, through the basic first handful of levels. Um, get him up into the 2000s for health. And he's, you know, he's got decent weapon, decent armor. So I, sh I shouldn't be getting him killed like relatively soon but you never know what we might run up against so uh since i don't know where we're going or what we're doing so anyways guys as always uh thank you so very much for watching if you find uh, yourself enjoying what we do if you got any advice for her uh places i should visit you know that aren't going to get me killed instantly don't set me up for failure too bad you know throw us a, a comment a like consider subscribing if you haven't uh, as all these things uh, do help out a small channel in the giant YouTube algorithm. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one.